We out here. Game day. Uh, 6.51 in the morning? Is that right? No, that ain't right. That's what time you text me. It's 7. Oh, I see it now. It's 7.01. Yeah, I, if, you, hey, if you saw what time I woke up and got out here at that time, you'd be impressed. Yeah? Yeah, I'm just saying. I think I woke up at like 6.43 and showered and still made it out the door at 6.52. You know, that's how you start a tournament day. You start it by scrambling and rushing as much as you can. I had an alarm set for 6 o'clock, and it just didn't cut it. Yeah. <clears throat> so I, I must have turned that off and went back to sleep because Hems was tired. Uh, going out here in Columbia and play some little U-trip softball today. Everybody's been saying they need more vlogs in their life. Everybody's still stuck at home not playing ball. So I figured, hey, what the heck. We can get us a little vlog life in. So go out here, get us a little BP going. I gotta put my contacts in at some point too. These, these right here, because uh, some people probably probably didn't realize I wear glasses. And some people say I look smart in glasses, but I'm not smart. <laughs> All right, morning BP out of the way. I was gonna film, do a little bit of that stuff, but uh, they decided to hit. Looking right into that thing. So, the conditions were not favorable for such. So, do a little BP, got it done. Check out these fine looking critters right here. It's going. Why? He takes offense to it, he says. What time you guys play? What time you guys play? Nine. Nine? Basketball player Three. playing baseball today. Best, baseball. Basketball player no, playing baseball. What? Whatever, dude. <laughs> yeah, we're going here. Get her going, and it's uh, it's gonna be a great day. Go in and get settled in on the field. Get the camera set up. Watch a little softball, and then we're gonna dive right into game one. So we got the day started with a bang here. We ended up putting up almost 25 runs in this game alone. You're looking at the first inning here, which I believe we went up 11 or 12 to nothing. That's where most of these clips are from is the first inning or so of this game. And we've been lucky enough to be in a pretty rural area, somewhere we can get out and uh, take a lot of BP and do a lot of things like that and not have uh, trouble with you know, parks being closed or anything like that, whether it be we've been hit on football fields, soccer fields. Um, we've even been fortunate enough to have a couple small towns that have got ball fields that weren't locked up. So we've definitely been primed and ready to go, ready to play. We had a tournament the weekend before this, so we absolutely came out firing. I did talk with a couple of guys that were on this team, and they're from a bigger city area, and just haven't been able to get out and do anything. So they were just happy to get out and get an opportunity to get some games in. We came out hitting to the potential that I knew we could, and we took the win on this one pretty quick. And then we moved on to game two, where we actually got thrown up against a C team. One thing that drives Gabe, that's Gabe yelling in the background. One thing that drives him nuts is when people don't hustle on stuff sometimes. Uh, he, he's gotten on to me about it too. I will say I'm just as guilty as the next guy about doing stuff like that. He's gotten on to me about it too. Well, White hit that ball, and I can't remember now. It's, it's been a minute, but it was either he thought it was gone or he thought it was caught. And everybody's done it. And they're just kind of staying there thinking either it's going to go over or it's going to be caught. And the next thing you know, the ball's down, and he's – you know, just rounding first base. So <laughs> Gabe let him know about it. It's kind of funny. You'll see in a clip here where he hit a solo. He he hit that ball and knew it was gone and just busted his ass out of the box anyway. It was pretty funny. But <clears throat> here we are coming up against a C team, though. And I will tell you right now that these, these BNS teams have been great in the past. Uh, this is a good team, too, seeing some of their uh, game history uh, that's on the U-Trip site. And they've played some pretty good games in, in – in, uh, 
got a good record and actually almost beat a B team. So this game here was nothing more than us getting every break possible in this game. And make note of this because you will see later where it, that became our downfall. We were on the opposite end of this. But for now, we got every break you can imagine in this game. Every bad hop, every weird play, every close play, we got them all. And it was nothing but, but just sheer luck. Am I trying to take anything away from my group of guys? No, absolutely not. What I'm trying to say is this BNS team that we ended up beating in this game, we ended up run ruling them, I think by 10 runs. And really it was nothing more than they just could not catch a break. It was our first game of the day and we just came off a big game. So we had that momentum going in our favor and then just came out and we got every, like I said, we got every bounce, every close play. So we ended up taking the win in this one too, which put us in a pretty good position moving forward. But when we get done here, the first thing we gotta do is go find home run balls. We got five a game because they combined C and D together and we used them all both games. So there's some home run balls out here we gotta go get. Let's see what we can find. Not a good situation to be in. But it all comes with the territory of picking up a couple of doves. Started the day off with a bang. Got a couple wins in. Like a two hour break. Then come back from one of our, oh my gosh, it's explosive. <clears throat> then we'll come back for a little bit more. Got to find these uh, home run balls here. Not looking too good. That's a majority of what's out here. That's disgusting. But uh, we're gonna do it for the squad here, see if we can find something. Oh, this is so yucky! Yeah, what field are we on next game? Thank, oh, that's not much better. I just took mine off. Pretty sure I just ruined my sandals, though. All right, so it's uh, looking like this is going to be a bust. Absolute ugh, crap conditions to try and find a softball in. So I guess we'll uh, call it a loss and move on to the next one. Thankfully, we got a sponsor this year taking really good care of us. So. It's not a huge deal, but it still sucks to lose, you know, eight softballs in two games. But with that out of the way, Daddy's hungry. Let's go see what we can do about that. This is getting wild. I, I don't know. I just said I. This was supposed to be. <laughs> I I might or might not have emphasis on might not have ever been to Chick Fil A. He has never. He has never. He has never tasted what it's like to have. God in the form of a chicken graces lips. They said something about a chicken fairy, and I'm like, uh, man, you, okay. You ever, you ever experienced a chicken fairy? Man, yeah, you, you about to see what the chicken fairy is all about right man, now. She's a great lady. One so, of kind. no sponsor, but you know, holler at me. Man. Yeah, it, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but hey, for real though, I was thinking about cheesy tots too, though. Yeah. We can, Wait, we no, can, we, 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 drinks, we, drinks and Sonics are on lock. We, we can't, we can't, can't double down. Can't double down. But we, we leave for round two. It's cheesy tots for days. So let, let's, let's get the rookie some action in here. Oh, man, I'm so happy for this. Oh, man, it's going to be great. This, this, this just became a whole other part of the vlog. Oh, it wasn't yeah. going to be a part of the vlog. Yeah. It's going to be great. We're going to go. Where's it at? Where's the regular spicy? It's on there. Where? Oh, right there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna go spicy, Colby Jack cheese, no pickles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all choice. Next, choose the side. We we we. Fruit we, cups up the top. Well, we we can do fries too, though. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So we do a large on the fries. Get you a large farm. Then we're gonna get cherry coke. Mm, our cherry coke's good. Too. Oh, it's fire. It's 
Great. with just a little bit of ice. Mm -hmm. Light ice. This is. I'm going to add that to the order. Mm -hmm. and then I'm going to do another spicy sandwich with none of them oh, yucky on, ass is, pickles. Is, is that the meal? No, hang on. Yeah, you, you, you did the meal. Well, I, so how do I do? I just want the sandwich. Yeah, you got to go back. Wait, I don't know what to do. Yeah, you got to go I'm gonna get fruit but I'll just get fruit for the side. I was gonna get a cup of fruit. Okay. So no yucky ass pickles. Yeah. We do pepper jack on this one. Mm, a solid choice. With that fruit cup, yes please, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Next choose a beverage. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go to Powerade. That's what I already got. Then I wanna review my meal. Then I wanna order it. Is that it? I want another cup of fruit too. Okay, I'll get you. Their fruit cups are amazing. Change your life. Okay. Oh man, lit. Okay. Cool. Huh. All right now. I'm excited for this fruit, y'all. I'm excited for the fruit. I'm excited for the fruit. Well, here we go. No pressure here. If you say this sucks, I'm probably gonna throw it in the trash. <laughs> Oh, we got them pickles. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, yes. That's good. Yeah, yeah, it's nice yeah. And yeah. It's, it's way. He he has seen the light. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna smash this. I'm gonna go down and work on a little photography. I think. No. Nope. Brought the camera with me. We'll do a little photography action. Everybody likes seeing pictures of themselves. Mm -hmm. Well, we're gonna go do that. So okay. something I've been working on doing is uh, like a little more photography stuff when I'm at the field. I think it's kind of one of those deals where. Uh, you know, people enjoy seeing themselves, like, when it comes to, like, the Man, video stuff. Much, What's up? Guys, Come in here, big dog. This is your guys' shit. God, these fucking kids. What am I going to do with them? <laughs> I appreciate it, man. So, uh, anyway, got these kids out here forgetting everything, but, I don't know. It's uh, just an opportunity, you know, for more people to, you know, see themselves. Like, whether it be to see themselves playing with pictures videos, you know, maybe something used for profile picture, whatever. So, just a chance to get out and do more of that. I do enjoy doing it. Just me and sometimes it's hard when the games are just back to back to back to back to back. But, luckily they're not right now. Got us a little grub. So now we're going to come out here and uh, get in game three. Gets the local team. So these two teams will know each other pretty well. Should be anybody's game to game to win. Our sticks are hot today, and they always hit well. They always, always, always hit well. So let's go get this one in and see where we go from there. Get it. Who's number eleven? Yeah. What do I do? Where was it at? Up there. Sorry. Those guys we just beat found it. Yeah, you're sorry. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Fairly certain that guy thought I was serious. Man, I'm telling you what, this team that we played against in this game, they are a good team. Do not, do not think that's where I'm going with this, but it drives me crazy that we can't beat them. Didn't end up dropping this one by six. Defensively, they are always ridiculous. They've got some good hitters. They can always seem to hit a hole. You got a couple guys that can go line to line. Their shortstop is arguably one of the best players around here. And it just always seems like we just come up a little bit short. And it's always our own doing. Uh, the weekend before, um, we played against them and they beat us. And that game as well, it was just uh, our own doing. We beat ourselves in that game. 
And then in this game here, they got out big. After a couple of innings, we, we were hitting stuff just hard, just right at people. And being the good defensive team they are, they just gobble all that stuff up. It doesn't slow them down a bit. But about the time we finally got the bats going and got a little bit of momentum going our way, here came the solo train. We got five home runs a game for the day, and we used all five every game, even hit a few DBOs as well. And out of our 20 home runs that did count, I want to say that uh, it was either 11 or 12 of them were solos. And I think we burned, I want to say, three solos, maybe four solos in this game. And then later on in the game, when we really needed those home runs, we didn't have them to use. And these guys that were playing against did a great job of using their home runs and using them well. The better team won this game, but <laughs> it is on my list of priorities to at least beat them one time this year. And I know they watch this stuff, and I know they're seeing this, and I'm perfectly fine with that. As tense as some of the situations get in these games, and as competitive as they get, I'm sure they know we're coming for them. But I really do enjoy going against these guys from a competition aspect, because I genuinely do feel like if we can get everything together and get everything firing on all cylinders, we're going to give them a game. Ended up taking an L there. Lost by, I think, six. Had a lot of hard outs, a lot of hard outs. Those balls that were just killed right at people. A combination of that, just a couple of defensive blunders at just like the worst times ever. So, knocked down into the loser's bracket. We'll see what's cracking on some of these other fields here. Getting ready for our game. I think we're off for an hour, and then we're back on, so. I find a little drink of drink of water here and rest up for the next one. I do need to look and see who we got next. So I think most of the D teams are going to be in the loser bracket now because they just threw C and D together. So let's go see what we get. Flyby, give me the flyby. Give me the flyby. Action shot, son. <laughs> Dude, that is creative. I don't know how he built it. I don't know how he did it, but that's dope. <laughs> All right, so earlier I was talking about how all those breaks that we got in that, in that game against BNS were on our side, and what you're about to see now is an onslaught of stuff that was not on our side. So we, we came out, had a very quick first inning against this team, and then they came out and put up 17 runs on us in the first inning. Got two outs. We were at, well, we were almost out of it with giving up just six runs and just had a few bobbled balls, had a few miscues, and it was just game on from there. They were at the 12 or 13 run mark in the inning, I believe, and uh, that's when, if you've watched the game footage and you see I, I cut it out, uh, our center fielder uh, had a very bad collision with our right fielder. We were down for about 45 minutes from that. Nobody's head was really fully in the game after that. And even just picking up in the first inning after that happened, they came out and put up five or six more runs. It was a doozy of a first inning. We weren't able to fully come back from it. We kind of got them slowed down, switched pitchers just to give it a little bit of a different pace. Uh, they switched pitchers as well, and we started hitting their pitcher well. But that big inning just killed us. Had we contained them to you know, the six runs that we could have got out of that first inning with, or even the 12 runs that we had originally stopped them with, we would have been in a lot better position to put up a good fight in the game. Because I, I want to say that they scored maybe six or seven runs for the rest of the game after that. Just the big inning we just couldn't come back from. And, and a lot of times that is the demise of a lot of teams is having that one inning you can't come back from. You really got to be diligent in putting that behind you and moving forward and this group is pretty good at that we did we made a good charge it was just a little too late uh, losing that player was losing one of our best outfielders and one of our best sticks and just putting everybody in kind of a mental state that it was just hard to come back from so this was our last game of the day kind of a bummer but going two and two on the day with this group of guys we're just like one big family
It's good to go out there and have fun. You take a two and two day and you're happy with a day like that with a team like this. Sure, everybody wants to win more games, but you can look at that day, look at the good times you had, and also build team-wise on you know, what can we do different to avoid this situation or that situation and move forward. So all in all, I consider this a successful day. All right, so it's the next day, and it is unfortunate to report the day didn't end how we wanted it to. Um, we had a center fielder uh, go down in a head-on collision with our right fielder. And uh, it, it was just a deal where two very good outfielders made a good line on a the ball. They both called for the ball, and really what it came down to, they both called for the ball at the same time. Neither one of them hurt each other. Um, the center fielder dove, uh, actually caught the ball, and then collided with the right fielder, um, dropped the ball, which is, you know, beyond the point at that at that point in time. Um, he was unconscious for a few minutes. It, it was a bad situation. Um, we ended up finishing the game and lost by, I think, five runs or something like that. But it, that happened in the first inning. And I planned on staying for a while afterwards, doing a little bit more vlogging and a little more photography. But I just wasn't in the mindset to do anything other than just kind of go home and um, – just kind of keep junk in our thoughts and, and kind of worried about him. Uh, he is okay. He passed his CT scans. Uh, he, everything's good to go now. We're actually um, getting ready to go hit with another teammate, and he's going to come hang out just to get out of the house. So he's up and around. He's feeling okay, and for that I am extremely thankful. It's just a freak accident. It could have happened to anybody at any time. Um, I'm not going to show the clip because I don't enjoy looking at it. <laughs> um, I know I, I'm sitting here talking about it, and that, that's kind of a – Kind of a letdown for me to not show that clip, but it's just something I don't enjoy watching. Um, so I'm not going to put it out there for anybody else to watch. Um, just glad everybody's okay. And I did just want to at least post this vlog. I know it's kind of pieced together and didn't end the way I wanted it to, but did enjoy the day with the boys. So I wanted to post this for you guys. Hope you enjoy it. We're going to do more of these, I promise. I'm not going to get better at them if I don't do them, so that's what we're here for. So until next time, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications on the little bell thing down there, and I'll catch you in the next one, guys.